one mysterious October Friday night in Blacksburg, South Carolina, your Wildcats were playing their rivals, the Chesney Eagles, when all of a sudden a linebacker's ankle started to hurt. He needed KT tape, but the trainer was like, oh no, oh no, we ran out. So he went up to the training room, right? And he went to get a KT tape roll. And Coach B notices, oh my gosh, where's he at? We need him for this play. So one of the trainers comes up here to check on him and they realize he's dead. Dun, dun, dun. everything prevent any loss or damage of evidence that may be found. I am sure that nothing is touched before the CSI arrives. I'm with the crime scene investigation unit. When we arrive on the scene, we're already fully prepared wearing a suit designed to prevent contamination of evidence. This interesting fit is called a bunny suit. It is worn for both preservation and evidence as well as the protection of CSI personnel. You never know what dangerous subjects may be present on a crime scene, so every precaution is taken. Appropriate clothing includes a bunny suit, a protective mouth guard, gloves, boots, and sometimes even outer. But we don't have that. As a crime scene investigator, searching the scene is a major part of the job. To solve a case, you must be thorough from beginning to end. A good start to an investigation is important, so we'll begin by using a common approach path to minimize contamination or destruction of different pieces of evidence. Next, we can move on to our search method. I'll search the scene with my partner using the grid method. The grid method proceeds an indoor or outdoor crime. To ensure every part of the scene is inspected, we need multiple CSI personnel on site. One officer will go right to left and the other will go up to down, scanning the ground carefully as they walk. After the initial walkthrough, they'll swap roles to check the scene once more. As a medical examiner, it is my job to identify the body so I can call the parents or any kin to inform them of the bad news. It's not an easy job, but it is necessary and extremely important. Hello, is this Ms. Stroop? I'm sorry to inform you that your son died in the training room today. Hello. has an evidence marker. For here it's labeled 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And you have inches from wall to wall to the middle of the evidence that intersects in the middle right here. So you will go from this wall to this wall and meet right in the middle. Once everything is sketched, the key is made. The key records what evidence belongs to each number. Other information written on the key includes the case number, evidence number, location, date and time, description of evidence, and the name of the sketch artist. Collection, preservation, and securing evidence are critical from the time it is collected. Each piece of evidence is individually bagged, sealed, and initialed by the individual collecting the evidence. The bag is properly documented by labeling and taping it shut with all important information. Fingernail in 
ended up being his daughter's that he took to try to blame it on her. How dare he? The blood splatter ended up being the football players, obviously, and then the footprint had cleaning products in it, and he's a janitor. So that's how we rounded up that he was the killer! The footprint actually was his, too. Josh Anderson, we are so sorry for your loss. Oh my gosh, no way!